Sometimes the least likely people produce the most extraordinary results. Such was the case of a shy farm boy from the tiny central Oregon town of Culver. Young Rex Barber joined the army with a love of flying and a taste for adventure. On the way to Hawaii for training, Rex and his shipmates learned that Pearl Harbor had been attacked by the Naval and Air Forces of the Empire of Japan. The attack planned and executed by the Admiral of the Combined Japanese Fleet, Isoroku Yamamoto. Sixteen months later, Rex Barber was at the controls of a borrowed P-38 Lightning, Miss Virginia, on a mission with 15 other P-38s to intercept and shoot down the same Admiral Yamamoto over the island of Bougainville in the South Pacific. He named his plane Diablo. Everybody else is naming their planes after their wives. He names his after the devil. <laughs> and that's the way he flew. Rex Barber was one of the most aggressive of those bold young pilots. While attacking a Japanese ship in his own P-38 Diablo, he became so focused on the target that he hit the ship's mast, tearing four feet off of one wing. He was there to fly the airplane to kill people and break things. <laughs> and so he thought, he thought naming the plane after the devil uh, made more sense to him. Rex Barber was not about to be left behind while Diablo's wing was being repaired, so he borrowed Bob Pettit's P-38 Miss Virginia for the mission. In the longest aerial intercept of World War II, Major John Mitchell led his squadron for two and a half hours on a five dog leg course to avoid Japanese spotters. We were flying about 75 feet above the water. Following Mitch, we flew out to sea so we wouldn't be spotted by the Japanese. As they crossed Princess Augusta Bay on Bougainville Island, they spotted the Admiral's flight. Major Mitchell gave the command to attack. I went in on the lead bomber and uh, started shooting his right engine, back into the fuselage, into the left engine. And he, of course, was going downhill at this time, very steeply. When I looked back, I saw a big column of smoke coming out of the jungle which I was sure was Yamamoto's airplane. It was a huge morale boost for America and a devastating blow for the Japanese people who revered Yamamoto as a great military leader. Rex Barber went on to complete a brilliant military career, then returned to Culver to establish a reputable insurance agency, became Justice of the Peace and Mayor of Culver, and continued to build his family ranch in Terrebonne. Now the Erickson Aircraft Collection in Madras, just a few miles from Rex Barber's Terrebonne Ranch, wants to honor the man and the Yamamoto mission by repainting its Lockheed P-38 Lightning as Rex's airplane looked when he flew it. But which airplane? Diablo, as it might have looked when Rex flew it? Or the borrowed Miss Virginia that Rex flew on the Yamamoto mission? the Ericsson Aircraft Collection will launch a campaign to paint the Ericsson airplane as Rex Barber's airplane. It's an appropriate way to honor a significant piece of that history. Whether as Diablo or as Miss Virginia, Rex Barber's place in history will be secured and contributors will own their own stake in that history by making this project possible. <laughs>